All right, so we have this issue of, of having a, um, a view of Alaska that is, is not uh, to our liking. And it has to deal with the coordinate reference system and projections that we're using. Uh, if we look down here in the corner, you'll always get an idea of, of what the uh, project uh, is using. It's a uh, WGS84. Uh, if we look at the um, settings for the options, and down here under, you know, these are all our, our uh, options for setting things up. Uh, the coordinate reference system tab is here, and this is uh, automatically enable on the fly reprojection if layers have a different CRS. So with this uh, selected, what, what will occur is as you bring uh, data in, it will be reprojected to the, the current one that you're using. So it's important that we have the one that we want in there first. So uh, the best thing here is to literally start over. We've got Alaska and we've got Alaska roads. Um, let's start over and see if we can get a different projection at the beginning. So starting now um, with the shape of Alaska uh, that we know is of the format that we like. Uh, and so now, if you if you look here, we have uh, a different um, projection. So let's go bring in our roads, Alaska roads. Okay, so now we've got just Alaska and the roads and the projection is, is what we're interested in. If we look at the project, um, project properties, uh, and we look at the CRS, uh, you can see that where we are is that the Alaska uh, CRS is being used. And our, our roads have been, you know, translated so that they fit Alaska very nicely as well. All right, so let's bring in, uh, let's go back and look at the Alaska roads and look at the attribute table and just see what we have left. Uh, and so you can see we've got 56, 56 um, roads is all. And if we look at the type, some are ferry roads, some are, are secondary roads, and uh, some are major highways. In fact, we could, we could sort by these type and look at the major highways. It sees there's only two major highways in Alaska. We might be interested to see where they are. So I'm going to um, click over here on the side uh, for this particular one and I'm going to hold the control key down and, and click on another. So I've now identified just by selection here the, the two uh, major roads. So let's see uh, where they show up. Uh, and you can see they're in this region here. So we just have two roads um, that are, are there. We could uh, select and identify what those roads are. Selecting the identification button, we're on roads. Let's select those guys, and this gives us all the information that is there. So state highway. Uh, but being kind of a world data to begin with, we don't have a name of the road. We don't know what the um, you know, really all that much information for it, but we do know that it's what's been called a, a major road. Now, since this is uh, kind of an area of interest, uh, I'll say, um, I'm going to bookmark this section. Okay, so now we can get back there if we need to. One of the things we may want to do is we may want to um, draw the the major roads to look differently. So we might want a different um, uh, thickness of the line, for example. So for a road, we may want a different thickness or a different color, and for a, a secondary road, a different uh, color. And then we may want um, uh, the ferry roads to 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 be uh, even even yet a, a different thing. So. This is uh, creating a style uh, for the lines. So doing this um, is a little bit, a little bit more interesting to, to kind of to get involved. So I'm going to right click 
and go down to the properties. Uh, so the properties here, um, you can see that you know canals and there's a whole bunch of, of, of roads that are that are sort of saved that uh, we could use. Here's a there's a primary road and a uh, you know maybe a resi residential service road and a residential road. So there is some standard standardization uh, that's out there. What we want to do is we want to do rule based um, roads. Right now, this is a single symbol, so whatever we pick, all the roads are, are going to be like that. But we want to do it based on rules. Okay, so what we'd like to do then is to can add a rule, and we'll call this major highway. And we want to filter here. The filter is that we're looking for the type. Um, so the type needs to be equal to a uh, major highway. Now we can set this such that it has a scale range. In other words, this may be something that we we, we don't want to see these roads when we're too close in or we're too close out or maybe we want them to look uh, differently in, in one scale versus the other. So um, you may just put some numbers in here just to give us something to look at. And so our symbol is going to be a simple line, um, but let's um, let's scroll down and call it a primary line, primary road. So we'll select something that's uh, already have been there. Uh, and now we'll add a, a rule for the um, and we'll filter these such that the type So now I'm going to clear the selections, and you can see I've got um, major highways and secondary highways um, looking different on here. Except, oops, the problem was, as you can see, I have to scroll all the way in here, getting very, very close for that to, to uh, be the way that I want it. So that, that didn't work too well, so we'll go back to this, um, open the properties and change this rule a little bit. Okay, so this just needed to be, um, we'll change this so we have a minimum scale of Okay, so as we as we scroll um, as we scroll in, we we can see we've got a different different view now for that particular rule. So it's a uh, in a way to make adjustments. Now these are as we get too far out, then it, it goes down. So you can so see that this would sort of be desired as you get further away. You wouldn't want that to be fat. Now it, it's actually not that great that it's that large now. But only those are that are um, major have a certain characteristic. 